The dark days of winter are just weeks away, and the Moors are 360 miles from home in a desperate attempt to fish for eels to feed their dogs. They have to cut holes in exactly the right spot to catch them, but the ice in the best area of the river is too thick. Come on, damn it! That's gonna be a real pain in the ass. You wanna take a reconnaissance and see if there's anything worth down there? Okay. Sam is looking for thinner ice. Might be able to get something like right out here. But moving even a few feet could mean they'll miss the eels as they swim past. A lot of times you don't know where they're going to actually run. Some places you'll do well, other places you won't. I'm kind of worried that we might be too far from shore. They're finally through to the water. But a 100 pound chunk of ice still stands in their way. Oh, it moved. <laughs> it did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut it in half. Whoa, Nelly. Now what do we do? No, I just pushed the lock under. Push it under? Yep. Oh. 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 Is it going? Yeah. With the hole open, Sam tests the water to make sure it's deep enough for their six-foot poles. Usually they're not this big. Check the depth, find out how thick that ice is. And the news isn't good. Uh, it's about eight feet. This is horrible. Our dip needs to be shorter. At eight feet, the water is two feet deeper than their nets. Even if they are in the right spot, they might not be able to reach the eels. Our dip nets are only six feet. And the lampreys, sometimes they run right on the bottom, so they can go in underneath our nets, you know. I just really hope we don't miss them. 